1966, everything was absolutely perfect. We had snow fell, it fell in the quantity that we needed, and uh, the temperatures were great. Everything really was as though we designed it that way. Canadian team arrived in Chile on a real high. The Canadian airline pilot had diverted the flight coming into Santiago and flown over Portillo, so we had a great look at all the venues. We could see the tracks, we could see the downhill, we could see the hotel and the lake. It was stunning, and we were so excited to arrive at the airport. Even a condor was flying above me when I was skiing down the Garganta. It was unforgettable. The opening ceremonies commenced. El día de la apertura era un sol maravilloso con toda la nieve al frente. Era un espectáculo que todo el mundo quedó impresionado. La banda de la escuela militar con sus penachos rojos. La ceremonia inaugural debe ser la mejor que se ha hecho en Chile de cualquier deporte. Creo que cambié el, el, el elite que había en el esquí. El elite era tremendamente cerrada y con esto abrimos las puertas para todo el mundo. The difference between skiing uh, to South America, to Europe, especially in Chile, is, uh, is for sure uh, the high altitude there. And uh, yeah, so you have to be very careful with your endurance. But now they both wait for Nancy Green, next on the course. The World Championships in Chile were really different. First of all, it was in the Northern Hemisphere summer, so we had to train on the glaciers to get ready to go down there. We all went a little early so that we could train in Chile at the altitude, and we just loved it. I think it would be definitely a change of pace and very different from my normal summer training program uh, to have to be ready to race mid-summer for us, mid-winter for you. Ohne diese Goldmedaille in Portille hätte ich mein Leben, so wie ich es jetzt gemeistert habe, nie gemeistert. Und deswegen danke ich dieser Goldmedaille in Portillo. All of these racers for the first time were under the same roof. Yo te diría que Todo lo que se me viene en la cabeza es, es alegre. Jean-Claude Quilly llamando a su papá por teléfono delante de todos nosotros. En esa época los teléfonos no eran como ahora. Carlos Zenoner llorando. Soy Carleto Zenoner, medalla de oro a Portillo, 1966, a la altura de 3.000 metros. There comes a time in every athlete's life when he has that extra something that separates a champion from the other competitors. Carlos Sonona senses that this is his time and he's not going to let it pass him by. For this is his moment of greatness. It was all just one big family under one roof, which is very unusual and has not been repeated since in any place in the world. I love going to Portillo every year. It's uh, you know one of the most beautiful places in the world, and it's so rare when you get full length, like serious downhill training. So it's so much fun to be able to ski on that Roca Jack. Outside, the Chilean soldiers worked to keep the courses in good condition. Ahí hay que empezar a pie. Después venía un grupo de soldados en el cual tomaban las mochilas con sal y rociaban con sal para que en la noche se endureciera más y al final venía otra vez el pisado de esquí y el derrapaje para dejar la cancha totalmente eh, dura para el otro día para la competencia. Ese trabajo era extraordinario. The 
the 1966 World Championship showed the people of the Northern Hemisphere that skiing was available in South America and that there were good ski areas here and that they were ski areas that were capable of holding a major sporting event. Dopo 50 anni sono contento e felice. Come bella una esperienza del genere. Non succede tutti i giorni. A me è successo. Sono soddisfatto e contento e ci penso ogni giorno. I think before that a lot of people just had the idea that South America was one extensive jungle from one end to the other until you got into Patagonia. Creo que el, el Mundial de Esquí eh, del año 66 marcó un antes y un después en la historia de esquí de Chile. Ich wünsche euch allen, so wie ich es feiern werde, dieses 50-jährige Jubiläum, das so wichtig in meinem Leben war.